I'm not taking, I didn't say we're going to go on to, to the next phase. Well, we're, we're, we're are where we are. I mean, I'm, I'm not taking, I didn't say we're going to go on to, to the next phase. When people forget that, gosh, we're still in the midst of the pandemic, that's what you have in a community like ours, then you start to see increased transmission and then you start to see the problems, which is what's happening in our healthcare system. People got complacent. People got a little bit overly confident in our ability to manage you know, more normally and people started to act like it was summer. They started to act like they wanted to go back to parties and do lots of big things like that. And it's coming back and it's biting us, quite frankly. When you do testing to that extent, you're going to find more people, you're going to find more cases. So I said to my people, slow the testing down, please. They test and they test. We got tests that people don't know what's going on. Huge, huge numbers of people, particularly in that 20 to 30 cohort, um, who are testing, but then testing positive. Again, from what we're seeing, I think that percentage is going to increase once we get this week's results in. And if you go back and look at the numbers of tests which are being, being done, they have indeed increased over the last few weeks. However, the proportion of them coming back positive hasn't really gone down. So it means that you're testing more and you're finding more, which means there's more there to be found.